Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Intuitive Investor. It's a very hot afternoon today here in Texas. I think temperatures are in the hundreds. Um, the basis of today's video is to discuss the psychology of an earnings release. Um, several years ago when I started uh, looking at stocks, it intrigued me why companies sometimes release data at different times of the day. If you notice some companies release after hours, some pre-market, and then there's some companies who release data earlier in the week and sometimes later in the week. And it wasn't until um, I went online and started doing my own research. My background is in the field of psychology, so it's only natural for me to look at the behavioral components of all transactions, whether that's human or, or whatever it is. Um, but I always look at evaluating what's blaringly obvious in addition to what's being said and not being said during interactions. And I found this website back a few years ago, it's the Marketplace, and they had done some research and some of their research indicated that 66% of the companies release all their information on the same day at the same time. So it doesn't change. So that got a little tricky because I had the had the find like is there any evidence is there any way that I could know beforehand any way of determining whether they're going to meet exceed or if they're going to miss their expectations and their guidance and the marketplace indicated that to a degree we can see that bad news is typically shared at the end of the day and so when you look at business psychology which would be industrial organizational psychology I started to really do additional research and I realized that most companies uh, when they are delaying people off or they have bad news to share they typically do it at the end of the day and if you've ever been fired by corporate world, then think about when you were fired. Maybe not even corporate world, but just any job you've had if you've ever been canned. I remember I was working as a, as a drug and alcohol counselor several years ago, about a decade ago. And um, they wanted me to do something that I didn't believe was right. And um, at the end of the week, it was Friday, and someone from corporate came in and said, hey, we don't need you anymore. And so that verified uh, that most companies wait until the end of the day to release data. All right, I'll be right out. It's my daughter. And so that led me to believe that if they're doing it in the private sector, then what's happening with some of the stocks that we're inv investing in? And sure enough, I started looking at some of the this year's misses. And the biggest one that we have so far is Netflix, who just happened to miss. And then I started to look at some of their data. I said, look, you know what? Why don't we go and figure out when they released the press release that showed when they were going to release their data. And in looking at that, I found out that June 14, 2018, Netflix had released their news that they were going to be releasing their data today July 16th guess when at the close of the market and lo and behold they already knew from that day that they were going to miss on their subscriptions so let's look at who else I looked at Gap and Gap on May 14th uh, issued a press release that they would be releasing their data guess when at the close of the market and they also missed on earnings and then I wanted to look a little bit further and I saw that AT&T in April missed on revenue and I started to look at when they released their data and guess what it was in the evening as well and so there's mounting evidence that like in the business world in the corporate world news 
bad news that is, is most likely given at the end of the day. And so this shows that maybe potentially there's something to say about the timing of an earnings release, the day of the week, and the time. And so it's my suspicion that if a company releases data pre-market, then that's probably going to be really good news. And the reason for that is because now the market has the entire day to digest all that great news, all that awesomeness. However, if a company releases in the evening or just as the market's going to close, then guess what? A ton of investors are shit out of luck because we can't buy in the after hours. You got to be special in order to do that. And the worst case scenario would be any company who releases, get this, on a Friday after market because now you're really screwed because they're hoping that it's a Friday, people are in a better mood, and it's after market, after hours that is, so they have the whole evening, all Saturday and Sunday to digest that crappy news. And they're hoping that most investors will forget about it by Monday. Their emotions would have already been dealt with. Which brings us to the stock that I wanted to talk about. IQ. Yes, IQ. So I started to look at, I've been pretty patient in trying to figure out when they're going to release data. If they do what they did back in April, they let us know April 20th and they released that same week. And at the time, I was a little concerned. And the reason why I was concerned was because IQ had indicated they were going to release records, uh, I'm sorry, release their data at 9 p.m. at night. And I started thinking like, oh, man, that's going to be bad. They're probably going to miss. Um, it's going to be bad. And then I started to realize, okay, it's 9 p.m. here, but it's actually 9 a.m. in Beijing which is in the morning, which means then that's great actually. So my bold prediction for IQ is to let's wait and see when they release that news of when they're going to release their data and look at the timing of the week and look at if it's done in the morning or in the after hours. But remember, since it is a Chinese stock, then we have to account that their administration or their CEOs are in a different time zone. So it actually it's in reverse. If it's morning here when they release, then that's bad news. And if it's in the night and it's morning there, then that's great news. So let's wait and see what they have to say. And if you wanted to do more research online, you can visit that Marketplace website and you can read the same article that I read about the timing. But in the business world, most firings do take place at the end of the day where employees are allowed to finish out the day or finish out the week. And with some dignity allowed to pack up their stuff once everybody is gone versus in front of everybody. So that is my take on the psychology of an earnings release and hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll find out if I was right or wrong about IQ and other stocks coming along. So talk to you soon. Any questions please feel free to ask and if you aren't already following me make sure you follow me on StockTwits as the Intuitive Investor. Take care.